Okay, okay, okay. I've been hearing some really, really great news that I'm really, 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 really happy about. They're bringing back the Netflix characters that I love and adore for the Netflix series for what I'm hearing. More on that in a minute. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures. We are comics. Yes, indeed. I'm hearing that Marvel has got control of our beloved characters from the Netflix TV series. You know, they're going to be bringing back the Punisher. You know, they're going to be bringing back Luke Cage. You know, they're going to be bringing back Jessica Jones. They're going to be bringing back my boy D.D. Daredevil. They're going to be bringing them back with the same actors from what I'm hearing. That's what I'm mostly hearing, but I'm also hearing that they're not going to bring back Finn Jones for Iron Fist. And it's kind of 50-50 when I'm hearing they're going to bring back Luke Cage. Well, first of all, I want to hit on that. Luke Cage, uh, solid performance. Uh, good luck finding somebody better because I really don't think you can do it. But Finn Jones, uh, I, I liked his performance personally. I thought it was very good. But since a lot of people... You know had problems with it i don't know if it was because of social justice warriors or whatever like that you know maybe they didn't understand the character enough but if you understand iron fist he did a great job and as far as i'm concerned he portrayed it the way it should have been portrayed and i can truly see him playing danny rand and iron fist when i watched the series I, I love season one season two was great but season one was just epic to me i never saw why people didn't really like it i thought it was amazing Oh, gotta, gotta bring back Jessica Jones. Come on. That series was an absolute bomb diggity hit. Definitely got to bring Daredevil, but that, that's, that's without question. And I'm hearing they're bringing back most, if not all, of the actors in the series. So we're going to get to see Foggy again. We're going to get to see Kingpin again. We're going to get to see quite a few characters that we know and love so far it sounds really really good but we're, we'll see what's happened we'll see what happens but i'm telling you what i'm gonna go ahead and call this right now they say they're bringing back the defenders right they're bringing back the defenders nope not going to do it you know what they're going to do think about this this is kevin fega he like to do it a little different he gonna have everybody believing that oh yeah the defenders is coming back we're gonna get us a daredevil show jessica jones show and Iron Fist, Punish, everything like that. Nope. You know what your boy Fage gonna do, because he's awesome like that. He gonna be like, oh yeah, I see what y'all did. It's nice. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna do it better. Because that's what he does. He does it better. Now this is what we got here. Your boy Jonas Show, from what I'm getting, from what I'm reading, from what I'm studying, what I'm looking at, we're not getting defenders. We're getting heroes for hire. And a little more on that, you know the game Marvel Strike Force? <laughs> That's how I knew I was right. Because I was like, you know what? Fake is, I was just speaking to your Finn Maria the other day. I was like, hmm, I really don't think they're going to do Defenders for some reason. I think they're going to either bring back the individual TV shows, most likely we're going to just have cameos here and there, here and there, here and there, build the characters back up, get us used to how they are now, because you know they're not going to be exactly the same. I don't think Kevin Feige is probably going to continue those stories. I think he's probably just going to move forward with those characters. Even They'll probably be who they were, but they won't be on the same, let's just say, path that they were on, is what I'm estimating. But I'm thinking ultimately we're going to end up with Heroes for Hire after we see him here, we see him there, they're going to come together and form Heroes for Hire. All I'm saying, can we get Misty Knight back? I know she, she didn't enjoy playing the role for what I'm hearing. So I said we probably should have a different actress for that. But I thought it was very good. I thought it was very good. I loved the performance. I was sad to hear that she didn't really like doing it because I, I thought she was amazing. I, I don't really see too many people doing it better, to tell you the truth. I really think she was just completely amazing. Can't wait to see what, what they do with those characters. Bring Colleen Wing back. She was phenomenal, too. I, I liked everybody, really. I, I thought they did a great job casting it. The actors were phenomenal. Just, just bring them all back if you ask me. But I really don't think he's going to do Defenders. I think we're going to get Heroes for Hire. And I kind of agree with that. I think that's the way to go. Go with Heroes for Hire. I would love to see that. Heck, even, even bring Hellcat back. I wanted to see her character finish forming. 
I wanted to see her to get her full abilities and get her suit and everything like that. I, I was, I, I wanted to finish seeing that because I'm, I'm a Hellcat fan also. I think she's pretty cool. But yeah, you heard it from me, your boy Joni Show. They're bringing back our beloved Netflix characters. Thankfully, I'm so grateful. So glad he's doing that. I hope it's true because you know what you say about rumors. You know, you got to, you know, you know what I'm saying? Take it with a grain of salt, as they say. A heavy, heavy, big chunk, cube-like, rock salt-like grain of salt. But let's keep our fingers crossed and keep hope alive. Maybe we can get our characters back and put them on the Kevin Feige track and get it rolling, get it right, get it done even better than it was before. I don't think it'll be that easy though, because it was really, really well done. I think Kevin Figgy's really gonna have to put a little effort into this because we already love him so much. But he's got to outdo Netflix, because that's how he does, you know. And I'm pretty sure he can do it. He's amazing. Yes, yes, and yes. We're getting our characters back. I can't wait. Just can't wait. I'm really excited. Heroes for Hire. That's what we're gonna see. I guarantee. You. I could be wrong, maybe he surprised us and you're like, okay, since Defenders was not too great, yeah, Defenders didn't turn out too great. Since Defenders was not too great, Kevin Feige, oh, okay, let's redo Defenders and show him how it's done. I don't know, I don't, just don't see it. He'd like to do things a little different. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Heroes for Hire. What do you think? Comment down below and please do not forget to hit that like button because we truly need it. And definitely let me know how you feel about it. Hit that notification bell. Hit that subscribe button, please. And thank you for coming out to United Comics Universe. Showing the show here for you. Make sure to hit that notification bell. I'll say again so you won't miss our next video. And I'll be back at you again when I get more intel. And you know what I'm about to say. We are, you guessed it, comics. Copyright Disclaimer. Citation of articles and authors in this report does not imply ownership. Works and images presented here fall under Fair Use Section 107 and are used for commentary on globally significant newsworthy events. Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Community Guidelines Disclaimer. The points of view and purpose of this video is not to bully or harass anyone, but rather share that opinion and thoughts with other like-minded individuals curious about the subject.